On today's episode, Dad has an epic mumble mouth. Did it again. Throws out another 90s movie reference. Big guy with a little head. Big guy with a little head. And yeah, he did that. got this dad got this what's up everybody and welcome to dad got this apocalypse travel edition we are going on a little beach vacation because that's all the kiddo wanted for her birthday was to go and stay in a hotel and go to the beach so even though it's the apocalypse we're gonna try and make this work we just checked into our hotel here at the sheraton sand key in clearwater beach we went up to the room and disinfected everything all the surfaces we did our own cleaning You guys are going to get to come along on our little apocalypse beach vacation and see what it's like to travel here in Florida during the apocalypse. We are in our room on our balcony and we have an ocean view, kind of, sort of. Peek your head over the edge of the balcony. And the reason we're here is because... It's my birthday! It's her birthday and this was what she wanted for her birthday. You wanted a beach hotel vacation. Even though it's the apocalypse, we're gonna make that work. But check it out, man, that's not a bad view. That's pretty nice. They hooked us up on a fifth floor room, so we're up nice and high. And we got a little bit of a partial ocean view. We're getting ready to go check out the uh, private beach that they have for the resort and see, hopefully it's not too crowded. But we got some stuff to do, so we'll check back with you guys in a minute. is our little setup. We have this little half tent thing that we bought years ago at our big box store and it works pretty well. We're good to go. We got three nights here at the Sheraton's Did it again. Still gonna do it all the time. We have three nights here at the Sheraton Sand Key Resort and uh, pretty excited about it. Look at this. I mean, it's a beautiful day. We are socially distanced, properly away from lots of people. You can enjoy yourself during the apocalypse. Come on, this isn't bad. This is good. I'm cool with this. Dad's pretty excited. Dad has literally been holed up in the house for months to get out and do stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna go walk out here. Dude, there's a pirate ship out there. Check it out, there is a legit pirate ship out there. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, whose kid is this? Let's go deeper, you're not the let's go deeper kid. I'm proud of you. Apparently uh, the kiddo has become some sort of daredevil and now wants to keep going further, further, further into the ocean. Last time we came to the ocean, you literally couldn't get her five inches into the water. Now, she is, uh, Jacques Cousteau in it out here and uh, going crazy. Our child has turned into Moana. You can't keep her away from the beach. The edge of the ocean is calling her. We are, as the kiddo would call it, living the life. (laughs) Set up with our tent which is working beautifully. Just hanging out at the beach, man. Look, if I do this, there's no one in my camera view. We are socially distant. We are responsible. This is a good vacation so far. I'm looking forward to this Spanish seafood restaurant, kind of like a tapas seafood restaurant. We're gonna go try out tonight. Looking forward to that. That should be pretty good. There's my kid, who we could not get in the ocean for anything, who I can now not get out of the ocean. I guess that's a better problem than the other, but... Man. What a difference a year makes. Yep, this is her now, all the way in the ocean. She wants to go all the way out there. It's a crazy kid. 
So that boat back there has dolphins jumping out of the water behind it. That's freaking cool. I want to go do a dolphin jumping boat. That looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's a child who chased the birds. Yeah, that's me. It's like I have a tiny head best way. Big guy with a little head. Big guy with a little head. I think this beach tent thing was like 20 bucks when we bought it. Totally worth it. Keeps the sun off you, a little bit of the wind out of the way. As long as you face it away from the wind and it's not a hurricane. Thumbs up. The child. Can't get her out of the ocean. Moana. We are back from the beach and in our hotel room. We are getting ready to go out to dinner tonight. We are going to a restaurant called Colombia and it's supposed to be like a really good seafood Spanish style restaurant right on the water. And uh, we made reservations, so hopefully we get a good seat and we can be socially distanced in there and have a good dinner. Looking forward to some good seafood. I love seafood, seafood is my jam. It's tough to pick between steak and a seafood, but surf and turf, that works for me. But uh, I love fresh seafood and I'm hoping there's some really good stuff here. But I still can't get over this, like, just look at, I think we might actually have like a really awesome um, sunset view here from the balcony. Coming up in the next episode, be sure to check out Dad and the family going to check out the Columbia restaurant. It's a 115 year old restaurant and Dad eats. Good. Eats again. Oh my God. Drinks. They trying to get you drunk. And then try something he probably should have waited on. But it's hot. Like really hot. And they cap the day off with like the most beautiful sunset ever. For more dad adventures, Go to youtube.com slash dad got this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare you. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules. <laughs>